hello guys welcome back so now let's start work on our first screen which is our login sign up page so we will return a scaffold widget body container and let's add a background color to it so we have our own default colors dot background color and the width of this page we will set according to the screen size as you know that some uh, computer or you can say laptop size are small some are big so according to the screen size it will fit automatically that is it will be a responsive uh, UI so we can simply get the screen width and height so you can say media query dot of context dot size dot width so whatever the screen width is we will tag that and the height for this will also be according to the screen size height so you can set a size dot height child stack widget children widget positioned widget child container width will be according to the screen width and the height will be according to the screen height but we will take only 0.5% of it so we can say 0.5 just like this now the color of this will be default colors dot primary color now let's test the application how it looks till now okay to run the web application on a browser you have to open up your terminal and in the terminal if you want to run test the application on your chrome browser then you have to type this command which is flutter space run space dash d space chrome space dash dash web dash render space html don't worry i will provide all these commands okay so you can just copy it from there as well but in case if you want to remember it then type it it is a good practice okay then you will remember it easily and this is for when you want to test your web application on the chrome browser let's say if you want to test your application on the microsoft edge browser then all you need to do is you need to simply replace this chrome with edge like this flutter run dash d edge dash dash web dash render space html okay so instead of chrome you have to just type edge and then press enter so it will now open up our uh, app our web app in the microsoft edge browser so our app is running now and here we go here you can see this is the UI which we implemented just like WhatsApp. For example, what we did here is this is our login sign up page, which is you already know is the starting page. What we did here first to our body of our login sign up page, we apply the color background color, which is basically this white color. Okay, so as a whole, this is white color at the background then what we do on top of that background white color what we do we use a stack widget and with the help of that we apply basically a color primary color and we position that we position that in a sense like it uh, you can say a half make the page half like half is the primary color that is this color okay you can see that half is this primary color which you can see here and the half become white so as I told you we use this position widget the stack specifically you can say as this position is a child of the stack and we apply a primary color on half of the screen for example if I remove this stack uh, I'm just going to comment out okay so that you can understand it okay I just comment out 
just to understand just for the understanding so you see we have this container and we apply background color which is the white color which I already told you okay so this is the whole background color on our body of the login sign up page if I show you now for the whole restart press R okay so you see this is a white color then what we want to do we want to basically break this page in two colors as a whole you already know white color is applied so we positioned using the stack widget we position this specific main area okay that is half area I mean this half area you can see my cursor which I'm moving this half area is our target that is we want to apply the primary color here on this half screen okay that is this area so what we do for that purpose we use basically this stack widget okay we use this stack widget and inside the stack we apply this primary color okay and now if I show you and that's why you see on half of the screen this primary color which you see here now okay and you see this debug banner if you want to remove that of course we want to remove so we will go to the mandar dot and here we will add debug show check mode banner and we will set this to false so it will remove that debug banner as you can see it is removed